What's a good job for introverts who only have a high school diploma? I used to work at a cactus nursery and it was an introvert dream. Heck any plant nursery work is awesome and anyone can do it. You just pop in headphones and hang out with plants all day. It's super easy, and you get in awesome shape because you're on your feet all day lifting and moving plants. If you're also a night owl, I'd say look at nearly any third shift job. Most people don't choose it and most people are asleep then, so talking interaction is quite limited. I have a friend, who is a deep deep introvert, that works in classifications, in that she has to watch a bunch of television and tick off lists to figure out what classification they should have, g, p, g, e, t, c. She gets to watch most popular shows at least two weeks in advance and does it in the remotest part of the building by herself. She also has to sit through a lot of European art movies and gore flicks, which meshes well with her interest in serial colors. A factory with equipment loud enough to make earplugs mandatory. It's hard as heck to hear anyone talking over the machines, and that forces extroverts to keep conversations to the bare minimum. This is the only job I've had where being an introvert felt like an advantage. Factory work is what made me realize I'm not an introverted as I thought. Didn't miss it till it was gone. Just about any job working with animals. I'm a kennel attendant for the Humane Society in my area. Listen to music for 9 hours. Clean kennels and cages. Feed water the dogs and cats. No human interaction. Tree planter. 8-10 hours alone in the middle of the bush. Incredible pay if you're a hard worker and it keeps you in amazing shape. I walk dogs. Other than meeting the parents the first time, I don't talk to anyone. I have audiobooks going all the time. Plus I get puppy snuggles for like 6 hours a day. Insurance claims processing. I know a lot of introverted people who do this for a living. Through having worked it myself for 5 years, depending on the company and your location, there is a chance that you will eventually be allowed to just work from home, as long as you meet performance expectations and the quality of internet that can be connected to your place of residence. Overnight stocker. Yes, even in a place like Walmart, it'll suffice. Because, it's overnight. Not a lot of people are around save for co-workers and management. You barely talk to anyone and you can focus on work. What sucks though, is that they don't allow you to have music on. INCST he custo mercy on me they say. What? One customer coming to me once every 6 hours past. Shortly before I'm leaving from work, I mean come on. A local funeral home director hires just such people to serve as pallbearers and to assist at the polar in a variety of ways. He pays them well. Most of their work time is in silence, except for running the vacuum in the coffin viewing areas. I mow lawns. Really the only time I talk to my customers is when I first meet them. After that it's mostly texts. I average about $25 an hour after expenses and since I live in the south I work 9 and a half or 10 months out of the year. I enjoy the downtime it lets me reset. Hey I am trying to start my own lawn care company. Well sort of. I would really like to pick your brain. Please let me know if I can. If not no worries. In the US. Medical coda. Lots of opportunities. Decent if not incredible pay, you can get certified within a year of training. After a couple of years experience, a decent coder can often work from home. Some interaction is required, but twice the pay of many jobs listed here. Factory work is easy to get into and usually once in the door mobility is possible. It's not great but you can leave it at the door in the way out each day. It's not great but you can leave it at the door in the way out each day. That's a more overlooked feature than I would like. Medical Scientific Illustrator. It's a super small, niche field. You'll draw stuff for nerds and won't talk to many people besides those nerds. Warehouse specifically a loader or unloader or a picker packer. Glorious glorious job where I felt I was in heaven even whilst doing physical labor. Just me and my packages. I do merchandising. I work for companies who hire people to display their products in store. Of course, there's always people around while you work, but you work alone. No teamwork at all. Legit work from home gigs do exist. Try up work sometime. I may have gotten lucky, but I landed my current 40 hour a week job through Upwork. 
Pro tip with that one. See if you can land a few ongoing contracts. You'll wind up paying less of a percentage of your earnings to Upwork if you can pick up a few long term gigs. I think a lot of people here are confusing introvert with antisocial or social anxiety. If the thought of talking to a person brings you great discomfort and you dread a job where you may potentially have to speak with someone then I have news for you friend. You're not an introvert. You probably just have social anxiety. I'm an introvert myself but I don't bust into a cold sweat and stumble over my words if I see a person or do I go out of my way to avoid as much human contact as possible. Edited to be more precise. Being an introvert is needing time after some socializing to relax, recharge and continue on with the day. Not being scared you might talk to someone in an 8 hour period. Probably going to get downvoted for this but it really does need to be said. I see way too many people in this thread genuinely terrified they might actually have to have human contact and their shift at a job and it's really scary to think about. There's nothing wrong with social anxiety or being antisocial but putting the blanket of introvert on it is misleading and wrong. Part time work at a video game arcade. Weekdays only and not on Friday. I understand the question asks a good job for introverts specifically, and I've noticed a good deal of responses are targeted towards jobs where the majority of the time spent on the job is usually away from anyone else and being alone. Believe me when I say that when I was fresh out of high school, I also desperately wanted a similar kind of job too, and I did get them but over time it was incredibly maddening and depressing. Add an arcade, especially with the specifics I gave, seemed like the ideal job especially when I had little training and also wanted a bit of peace and ease for myself. It's too bad that I only found out about this after I jumped headfirst into the job and demanded I work full time including Fridays and weekends. To start, weekdays are incredibly easy. During the morning hours, barely anyone is there, you're always busy too, cleaning the place, fixing any broken machines and it gets incredibly fascinating, at least for me, learning how each machine works and why. As the day carries on, typically there will be some people coming in, usually parents with their children. Families are awesome customers, even the ones who might complain. For as long as I worked I've always noticed that as long as their children are happy, the parents are happy and the children they bring are very easy to please. If, for whatever reason, you get some hours during the afternoon, more often than not, regulars will start showing up and they already know what they're there for so again, very easy to deal with. You'll get the odd customer here and there who needs help understanding how things work in the arcade. But given some time after repairing fixing fiddling around the arcade cabinets machines, those tougher customers will seem like a breeze. I know that doesn't make sense out of context, but trust me, it will make dealing with them a whole lot easier. So, if that doesn't sound like an incredibly easy job to me, then I don't know what does. You get your alone time, you get to socialize with people that are easy to please and are happy enough knowing you'd give a dang. And generally speaking, working at an arcade pays pretty well too. Fridays and weekends though are complete heck, so avoid those days as much as possible, otherwise, you'll be golden. Watchmaker, only took me one year in a free trade school and was given a job at graduation for 50k a year plus benefits and all. FQA testing, usually only available in big cities, so that might be a factor. My brother never finished high school and works as one. Basically you play video games and write reports, that's about it. They usually have the perks, as in, fun work environment of software development jobs. I'm actually gonna be starting there this summer. Depends on what you like to do. If you want a white collar desk job, I'd find anything that has education benefits and get a bachelor's degree for free that way. Computer science, study programming, offers some great opportunities to have minimal contact with people if you can communicate well via email. Alternatively, you could get into something like construction, get certified to operate large machines, and be surrounded by noise all day. No need to have awkward conversations over a diesel engine. Night shift security guards are another option if you can find the openings. They tend to pay a bit more, minimal interaction with people and can be sort of cushy if it's not a high stakes one. I know one guy who completed a novel doing this. I work the night shift in an ice cream factory, and I barely talk to anyone. 
It's loud enough on the production floor to require hearing protection, but for me it's because the most common language spoken among the night shift workers is Spanish or Arabic. Library aid or page. All I had to do was organize books and it wasn't even my job to help patrons. It's quiet all the time. For minimum wage in high school it was great. 70% of the time I just got to read books. Security. Get the swing or graveyard shift. You'll barely have to talk to anyone. I did it for a while, and it was super easy. Of course, it depends on your location, and what you're guarding. But if it's just an admin building like I did, it's super easy and you don't have to talk to anyone. You need a trade. Electricians. Welding. Pipeline. Boilermakers. Iron worker. ETC. You can make a good living with a trade. I thought that at first. Then I realized my job would necessitate meeting new people and being in strange environments every job and that killed it for me. I still kind of dream about doing VCR repair work. Or it's equivalent, but then I worry about some machine coming and full of toaches. Gonna go against the grain and say this for all the people who are on the younger side. I was pretty introverted socially anxious when I was in high school but getting a job in retail forced me to talk to people and I quickly got over the fear. Life is a lot better when you can talk to people. Just be weary about choosing a job like some of the ones suggested in this thread at a relatively young age when you still have ample time to face your fears. You don't want to get set on a path of isolation that snowballs to you being suddenly in your 30s with no friends because you've never faced your fear of talking to people. To each their own of course but again, life is a lot more interesting when you can interact with more things than just a computer. I work in medical records and I get to sit at my desk and listen to music or audiobooks all day, every day. There is as much or as little social interaction as I want and I can sometimes go a whole week without ever seeing or speaking to my boss. Forklift drivers get paid sorta well, and once you get used to rear wheel steering it's not hard. Also don't overlook custodial maintenance work, it's an honest living and pays decent in some areas. Definitely custodian janitor envy on mental worker, whatever the company calls it. If you're a night shift person you can pretty much go the entire shift without talking or interacting with someone. IT. I do not have a degree and have been in the field for 22 years. I started out with almost no experience in desktop support and am now a network security architect. You could get a welding certificate. Welders get good wages starting out, and it doesn't require much more schooling to get certified. I work accounts receivable and no one is ever in my department. I have a degree, but it's anthropology. I basically do simple math all day and listen to metal. Healthcare in 401k. I'm a plumbing apprentice. Service focus. We don't do new construction and over 70% of my day is spent driving to jobs since our company services 100 miles in each direction from our shop. While this amount of driving is mostly contributed to the fact that I live in sparsely populated SE Idaho, it's great being able to drive to jobs and just get some alone time. I'm mainly an introvert and don't like talking to people but I thrive in this job. Not only do plumbers have a great paying job and excellent career path but they are at zero risk of being replaced by automation. I can't express how underappreciated the trades are. Security. Keep in mind that the pay scales with experience drastically. But nobody is going to want to talk to you anyway because you're basically the narc. Small chit chat is at your own discretion and there's lots of sick night shifts at places like power plants and construction sites that literally put you alone by yourself with no one to talk to at all and plenty of time to watch Netflix in between your rounds. I started doing security out of high school and then picked it up again after military service as a side gig to make extra money currently it's on par with my current profession a couple of years in the industry and a couple of certs under my belt. For state and I'm making close to 27 an hour part time. It can actually be a career and the only thing you need is a high school diploma most of the time the company will help you get whatever state certification you need and there's different levels you can go up throughout. I've seen guys start out being gate guards for gated communities. Go on to be the armed guard at a bank a few years after that they're plain clothes security doing corporate escorts and jewelry drops. Truck driving for a company. I love the sense of freedom I had. Plus I didn't have an apartment. 
So, almost everything I made went into the bank. Working night shift in a hotel or commercial laundry, on the bottom end earnings wise, become a union tradesperson like an iron worker, or plumber or welder etc. High end earnings wise, point being there are a lot of opportunities if you are willing to work. IT, of course, that's assuming that you actually mean introvert and not a quivering ball of social anxiety personified. It also assumes you're doing internal IT, which is way different than working at a call center or MSP. IT centers on controlled communication. You have rules you follow and an objective to aim for. These are situations that introverts excel at. I'm an introvert and was planning to get into something like computer programming after high school. Instead I enlisted in the military. Among other things, I learned that I can sort of compartmentalize the introversion. Not sure how to describe it. But as long as the socializing is a part of my job, I'm okay with it. Now, I work in healthcare. I remain introverted. But even though I have to socialize with patients every day, it doesn't bother me. I don't really take any breaks to avoid having to sit and chat with co-workers. Bottom line, don't pigeonhole yourself based on your introversion. Try to see if you can find a way to tolerate jobs that require interacting with people a lot. You might surprise yourself. Post office. 6 hours walking by yourself. No boss looking over your shoulder. Occasional customer contact, but not too much. If you read a lot, and can pick out the mistakes in the text, you can become an editor for online publishers of digital content, like Kindle Unlimited. If you can do college level reading and writing, you can edit papers submitted for research journals. You don't have to know the subjects. I've edited articles on social sciences, economics, and literature. Any job. Don't let being an introvert be an excuse for not doing great things for the rest of your life. I used to be extremely shy introverted. I got over it by doing door-to-door -door sales. I'm still an introvert but people wouldn't know it. Truly extroverted people are not as common as you might think. In addition, introverted does not mean shy. It means that you get drained easier by social interaction. It also isn't exactly a highly accepted thing in psychology circles. Just something to kind of use as a guide. It may change. It is dynamic. Social skills are also like any other skill too. It takes practice for most people. I started working in a group home for adults with mental retardation. It was daunting at first because companies like this typically people without experience. And the concept of interacting with new people can be daunting. But it's typically a group of folks that are there long term. So you're able to get to know the folks and bond with them. It was easier for me to get accustomed to a certain set of people that I would work with daily rather than a job where I would have to interact with strangers each day. Stocking shelves at a grocery store. You might think people will ask you where things are but they won't. Also in the rare chance they do. You know where practically everything is so it shouldn't be that hard. If you like animals then kennel assistant. You mostly work with dogs. Taking them for walks and cleaning up after them and, of course, playtime. Depending on where you work you can listen to music as well while cleaning up the poop and stuff. Commercial cleaning. Second shift. You enter a practically empty office building. You put in your headphones. You clean for however many hours. Almost completely unbothered. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.